Congresswoman Michelle Bachman right now, the Republican congressman from Minnesota, who was a Republican presidential candidate. I take it, uh, Congresswoman, you were inside the Supreme Court when this uh, decision was read uh, and you heard the Chief Justice of the United States, John Roberts, uh, under the tax writing provisions of the Constitution, the Affordable Health Care Act is in fact constitutional. What went through your mind when you saw that five to four decision? Well, it really is a turning point in American history. We will never be the same again. And what went through my mind is the court first went through the Commerce Clause argument. They rejected Obamacare and the individual mandate as constitutional under, under the Commerce Clause. And so across the courtroom, it appeared that the court had struck down the constitutionality of the individual mandate in Obamacare. But then the court turned to the tax argument, which was bizarre, because the court ruled that Obamacare was was not a tax for purpose of jurisdiction to hear the case and then just several pages later they said no it is a tax and so therefore Congress has the power to make to regulate this tax and create this tax and it's constitutional for my mind this is clearly unconstitutional there is no basis in the Constitution for the government to have this level of history making expansion of power because now this means for the first time in the history of the country Congress can co force Americans to purchase any product, any service that Congress wants them to, which means that Congress then determines the price, and we are forced to, which is a denial of liberty. This is the first time anything like this has happened. This is a turning point in American history. We will never be the same again with this denial of liberty interests. But also, it's a black cloud, pragmatically speaking, on economic recovery. There will be no hope of economic recovery between now and the election. We've exhausted now our legal solutions to be able to, to rid the nation of Obamacare. Now we have to look for a political solution. So in the, in, the, in the short term, what you'll see from the job creators and the employers in America, you'll see more of them by the millions dropping their employer health insurance because it's wildly expensive. It's, it's increased by a factor of three just this year alone. You'll see millions of Americans lose their employer insurance. You'll see millions of employers move their businesses outside of the United States to do business out of the United States. So you'll see massive job loss as a result of this as well. This isn't unexpected, but, but this is the pragmatic effect of what we'll see. In terms of pragmatic effects, uh, the practical uh, developments that will unfold right now, uh, there's limits to what you can do to repeal this Affordable Health Care Act. Uh, even if there's a lopsided Republican majority in the House of Representatives, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you need a, a, a 60 votes in the United States Senate, even if Mitt Romney is elected president to go ahead and re repeal it or revise it. Is that your understanding? No, that you need to break a, fili break a filibuster in the Senate in order to change it? No, that's not true at all, because when the, when the vote was passed in the Senate, they did so with a reconciliation bill, and that is that took a 50-person vote. So if there is a majority in the Senate and a majority in the House, and if we have a Mitt Romney as the next president of the United States, we can and we will repeal Obamacare. That is the hope that America needs to hold on to, that we will repeal Obamacare and we will finally see economic recovery in the United States. There is no hope of that if Barack Obama wins a second term and if Harry Reid continues to hold the gavel in the United States Senate. In all likelihood, you will see the House of Representatives put forward a full-scale repeal bill. In all likelihood, we will pass that even before the November election, but that will be for show only because in all likelihood Harry Reid and Barack Obama are not about to deviate from what the Supreme Court did today. We're profoundly disappointed in the decision from the court but I urge people to read the dissent that was read from the bench by Justice uh, Kennedy and joined in by Alito and, uh, and also Scalia because that Clinton opinion said very clearly this was an activist court that you saw today. What they did is not just uphold Obamacare this Supreme Court rewrote Obamacare in line with its own designs. So this is an even more far-reaching decision than anyone had expected or imagined.